Good afternoon, Georgia Democrats. How are you today? That's right, that's right. My name is Jill Myers, and it's days like today that I'm so happy that my husband and I decided to leave the Rust Belt seven years ago and make Georgia our new home. This energy is infectious, and I didn't know I was going to be a part of a blue tide in November, but I am so glad to hear that. I am honored to be here today. My grandparents would be so proud, and I'm uh, eager to introduce our next speaker. I grew up on their dairy farm and was active in 4-H for over 10 years. That's right. I pledge my head, my heart, yeah, all that. <laughs> you know the 4-H pledge right out there? That's right. Very good. Because of my upbringing in a rural community on a dirt road, I know how important it is to support our state's farmers and their families and the rural communities that they live in. As my grandmother used to say, every day is a great day to thank a farmer. That's right. In November, together, we're going to demonstrate our commitment to rural communities by making sure that Ms. Abrams is our governor. We need our state's top leader to fight for things that our rural communities and farmers depend on, like Medicaid and broadband expansion into rural communities, to be a part of the 21st century. And we can continue to show our commitment by making sure that Fred Swan is Georgia's next agricultural commissioner. Like many of you in this room, Fred uh, grew up in Macon. He knows what it's like to help his grandparents on their farm. He was pulling weeds, helping them bag produce and get it to market, anything he could do to help. And after more than a decade of serving the Democratic Party, including most recently as Congressional District Chair for the 8th District, he's running to restore prosperity to our families and friends in the rural outposts of Georgia. We can count on Fred to promote Georgia's agricultural heritage and products, like my grandparents' dairy products around the world. And at a time when big agriculture is taking up more and more of the market, Fred will fight for small farms and make sure that Georgia consumers have safe, healthy, homegrown, and hopefully organic food. That's right. Georgia agriculture needs a real voice, protesting harmful tariffs, for one, protecting our water rights and the, the safety of that water, and standing up against labor exploitation, which our Georgia farmers know all too well. Fred Swan will be that voice, and I ask you to please provide a warm welcome to our next Agricultural Commissioner, Mr. Fred Swan. Good afternoon, Democrats from all across Georgia. As she said, my name is Fred Swan. As our candidate for Agriculture Commissioner, I'm excited to be here with Democrats of all kinds, urban, rural, and everything in between. My office isn't exclusively rural, but it is uniquely rural. And let's be honest, that is where Democrats have been having a hard time. My good friend and chair of the Rural Caucus, Scout Smith, told us something that I have been using as a mantra on the trail. Democratic values are rural values. If we're going to win in November, we've got to use these next 73 days to make that case. Now, thankfully, this year, we've got a smart woman at the head of our ticket, 
who knows that while we love our base of metro area progressives, we've got to energize every type of Democrat in every corner of the state because many of our rural communities are dying. My opponent likes to brag that Georgia's leading industry is agriculture. But how can we be excited about that when we have areas such as Crawford County, down where I live, where you have row after row of peach and pecan farms, but people have to drive 45 minutes just to buy a jug of milk. <laughs> Food is at the heart of everything we care about as Democrats, and we need to start acting like it. Want better health care? Start with food access. Want to protect the environment? Clean up factory farming. Want to grow rural economies? Start with small farms and invest in small farmers. We are the party that stands for everyday people with everyday problems. I myself have had my fair share of problems. Growing up in poverty, raised by a single mother who worked two, sometimes three jobs just to make ends meet. Others of us deal daily with racism, sexism, homophobia, physical, mental disabilities. In fact, there's one thing that many people don't know about me. I have been dealing with my own diagnosis with autism and with my own children's autism. That's why I am committed to growing small farms in Georgia, but also to bringing all kinds of new farmers into the fold. Farmers of color, organic farmers, young farmers, women, and people with disabilities. I will fight for apprenticeships and training programs, including those geared towards people who are dealing with autism. With this office, we have a chance not only to reestablish ourselves as a rural party, but also we get a chance to fix problems and foster equal opportunity in ways we haven't really even thought about in a long time. That's why I'm running, because I believe that agriculture, like our government, should work for everyone. My name is Fred Swan, and I will be your next Agricultural Commissioner. Thank you very much.